So in this question, we want to know how many electrons are in the ion CO3 with the two minus charge. So to solve this question, you need to know what this three right here represents and what this two right here represents. And this three right here means you're going to have three oxygen um, atoms in one of these um, compounds. And you're going to have this two right here, this minus two. Uh, that's going to be the charge. And so what you can do is you can uh, list out all the um, the atoms kind of like this that's in this um, in one of these compounds and so we're gonna have one carbon atom because there's there's no number right here but uh, in the front of the C but you can put a one right there so, so we have one carbon and so we got one carbon and then this three right here we have three oxygen so I'm gonna put one two three down and um, and we know that this carbon right here is gonna have six protons and this oxygen right here is going to have eight protons and the way we know that is because if we go to the periodic table it's going to look kind of like this we got carbon with the at the six up top and then at 12.01 and so this is what carbon looks like and then if we go to oxygen it looks like this we have oxygen with an eight up top and then we have this 15.9 uh, on the bottom like this and so this number right here is the number of protons for oxygen and this number right here is the number of protons for carbon and so we got six protons for carbon, um, eight for um, oxygen. So let's put the rest of these in here. And if we have CO3 like this, CO3, and there's no charge on it, it means that if we have six protons here, then we have to have six electrons in here so that this would be neutral. So we get six uh, protons, six electrons. We have eight protons and one of these oxygens. It means we have to have eight electrons in here eight electrons here and then eight electrons in here and so if we have all of these protons cancel with all of these electrons uh, then we would get this neutral charge right here and we wouldn't put any number up top and so if we add all these electrons all up we're going to get 30 electrons and so if this thing's going to be neutral it's going to have 30 electrons and that's because we know the number of protons of each of the different atoms that's within one of these compounds so therefore we know the number of electrons so we have 30 electrons and then we have this negative two right in here and so if we have 30 electrons that's going to be neutral you want to have two more electrons um, to get a, a, a negative uh, two charge and so we want to add on these two more electrons and so we would actually end up getting 32 electrons and just one um, uh, molecule of the CO3 with this 2 minus charge in here. So the answer is going to be 32 electrons.